Like I'm tired of watching these turtles get run over by cars. Like, all right, we got a common snapping turtle here, I believe. Yeah, it's trying to cross the road. I'm gonna relocate it to a pond somewhere. I think I know where this turtle might have come from. This is the type of area where I just found that snapping turtle. Uh, and I just don't feel comfortable putting it back where I found it. I felt compelled to talk a little bit more about uh, the situation with this really large snapping turtle, or or this large snapping turtle. It's not really large. I caught a larger one before, but and they get way larger. But it's a large turtle, being that it's it's basically a breeding age. Um, I have never, that I can recall, other than in the instance where I hatched the turtle eggs, have relocated a turtle to a pond different than the nicest pond in that same area. Um, I have moved turtles from one pond or a road to the nearest pond to, to just give them a chance on these roads nowadays because these are dinosaurs. They've evolved in a, in a world that doesn't exist anymore. And this is the first instance, honestly, that I can say where I am moving this turtle to a new area. And it's left me feeling multiple feelings at once. Uh, first being that maybe I'm doing the wrong thing, you know, is is it wrong to move a turtle from one pond environment to another pond environment? And there are some reasons why it is wrong. <clears throat> first one is turtles have a, a very strong homing instinct. That means that they might try to go back home. And if they do, well, if you move it real far, you may never find home again. Not only may they never find home, they may die in the process, so there's that. So for that reason, uh, it's it's tough to move turtles um, from one place where you found them to another. But the home that this turtle grew up in ha is rapidly changing. I mean, and the immediate area where the turtle was, it had changed very recently. Um, somebody had developed a very nice house with fencing all the way around it. They bisected right between two ponds and I saw the turtle heading directly that direction. I was just gonna bring the turtle to the pond, but it's a small pond in the center of our city and, and I was scared and questioned whether it was the right move. So I put it in my truck and I thought about it and I did my research. And one of the, the other problems is potentially introducing uh, species to new areas where they're not supposed to be, um, where they may not have the adequate prey, uh, introducing new diseases or get introducing it to new diseases, um, which turtles are very resilient. There's not any that I know of right now and, and, and certainly the prey are the same in the same area where I'm at. So the prey won't be the problem. What I am gonna, however, the win-win on this is that I, I will be able to get the turtle to an area where it's going to be hard for that turtle to hit the road again. It, it could hit the road again, but it would take a lot of effort. And I think the turtle would find what it desired much before it ever hit a roadway. So um, that's the first thing. Secondly, I get to make a video and talk to y'all about the problems with rehoming turtles and, and when's the right situation to do it. And, and I'm not always sure what that threshold is, that it's the right thing to do now. But sometimes you just get that feeling, you know, and I have that feeling and, uh, and I'm, I'm sorry if, if maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I, I couldn't just sit back and watch another turtle get run over on the road as I've seen so many times in my hometown that is growing so fast and urbanization, urban sprawl is taking over so many natural areas in my community. I have to do something. I'm moving the turtle to an area where it'll be fine for a long time. And I mean a long time because vast sections of this water system are always going to be natural. We're talking about a river. While it's not a pond like you grew up in, there's unlimited food. There's unlimited territory. There's other snapping turtles, both of alligator snapping turtles and common snapping turtles like that one. There's other turtles and there's even predators besides Homo sapiens sapiens. So this will give this turtle an actual world that it had evolved for thousands of years to grow up in, to potentially produce young in, to potentially continue the species, and to 
contribute to even more genetic diversity for the species because we are taking a turtle from one isolated population in the center of a, a town that which would never break free from and bringing it to the entire population. Well, this is only good for both populations, in my opinion. I appreciate that. Let's get this turtle in the water. We'll see you there. Jesse, you see that? Yeah, something big is out here.